everyone. Now we're gonna do my craft room. So I am sitting in, or standing in the doorway opposite this corner. This is my craft room area. There is nothing else that's in this room except all of my crafty goodness. So we'll get started. This wall that I'm to my right is, you saw me probably post this on Instagram, my latest installation. So as I do a layout, I do keep it on the wall and then whichever one I, you know, replace goes into my photo albums. Not photo albums, like scrapbook albums. Then it's my gallery wall. Now these are all pictures that I've either purchased or made. This is a recent post puzzle my mom and sister did together and I loved it so much that we glued it down and framed it. This is from Brazil. I studied abroad during college. This I picked up in on the streets of New York City. Those were purchased at TJ Maxx. These are purchased at TJ Maxx. These I made with paint splatters and stencils. Um, the one with the other dachshund, that one, I found at Goodwill, believe it or not. New York City, New York City, New York City, and a collage I made for our first anniversary, just me and Miguel. And then my big peacock I found at Ross. And that's the wall. <laughs> then underneath the wall is my calyx shelves from Ikea, and then these two boxes and my little cart are from Michael's. So on the top I have my overflowing array of tissue paper. These hold embellishments. So the first top actually is all my electronics, chargers, extra batteries, camera cards, external hard drive. This one is all embellishments, so sequences, wood veneer, feathers. This one is more sequences, my doily collection, twine. This is my collection of papers, so loose paper pads, loose paper pads. <laughs> my one word is here for Allie Edwards. This is scraps, this is paper to, to work on. This is right next to my desk. This is my little quick station of embellishments and all of this is my scrap paper. It's in like a mail holder carrier. It was sitting around, it used to hold like pens and such, but it actually became a very open visual way to use up my scraps. They all used to sit in here, which never got utilized. Now in here, I use them all the time. Little compartments with wood veneer, some flares, like the last things you add to a page. Enamel dots sit all in here. Um, photo corners, small alphas, some stickers. And then rotary stamps. These are sequences that have all come in kit clubs, click kits, hip kits that I just keep there. And then this is usually like when you have like the one or two or three left of die cuts that don't fit on a page yet, I'll go here until I use them up. So it's a nice little system being so close to my desk. In my shelves themselves, this is my other mixed media kind of section and all my punches. The paper here is all like my like test mists and such. So you can see I have some other products. Down below, it's my first December daily. This is my birthday slash Las Vegas slash <laughs> it turned into my engagement weekend um, mini album. In there, it's a Heidi Swap memory planner, a big like uh, stamp set from Hobby Lobby. These two photo boxes, one is fountain pen, so all of my inks, um, cleaners, syringes, everything for my fountain pen collection. That's all post-it notes and list pads. Current um, Project Life album, this one is empty. This is usually where I hold all my white cardstock. I do have to resupply. My stationary collection, so I like writing notes and pen pals and such, so that's all cards to mail. Post-it notes. Um, 12 by 12, 12 by 12. I do have to put the label. I don't you have to make these. <laughs> so 12 by 12, 12 by 12, that's Project Life, and 12 by 12s. Those are all my Project Life cards. A Filofax memory planner, happy, happy Mombi planner, and then a 6x6 scrapbook that I made a long time ago with me and my sister. It's my favorite one. Page protectors sit at the edge. In here, these are all of my 12 by 12 stencils sit at this edge and they're really kind of tight but you know anything that you've seen me are 12 by 12 they're here coloring books mixed media book these are all my art um art like books from artists that i collect 
journals, my smash book, <laughs> and this album is my first 12 by 12 layouts for my channel, so a year ago, whenever I started YouTube, those were all those sit. Um, and then, like, obviously these are the current ones you see on my channel, so it's fun to keep them. My little cart is from Michael's. Uh, I did find it at Goodwill, though, for like $10, so it holds all of my ribbons. And then the top portion are all of like my stickers that can be visually thumbed through. And alphas are here, so anything that was 6 by 12 um, go in here so that I can constantly thumb through it. 6 by 6 paper pads. In the first little drawer, all of my stamps, acrylic and um, the wood block ones. In the second drawer, my wood veneer organizer, my cuddle bug plates are in here. Um, dies are in here, tags, crepe paper. Then the last drawer holds all of my other sticker collections. That's not really a sticker, but you can see enamel dots. Just tons of stuff. So more stickers. I have the 16 photo box holder. So these all hold more wood veneer that are large or frames and you know dies so that's my whole system and it stays out and about under there are some that's a new purchase box <laughs> from scrapbook.com um, and then I keep all of my design team things for uh, the ink road in separate boxes so I always know what products I'm using then the last little area are magazines coloring books these are just ones I have to cut through and down below are more page protectors and paper pads. Okay, so we'll rise up and then we'll go on my desk. My desk is from Ikea. Um, the garbage, it's a laundry basket that I line with garbage bags. It's a garbage bag. And I have the Alex drawers. And the little floating shelf there too is also from Ikea. So in these drawers, the top one is just a catch-all extra tape. Um, pen refills, my thread collection, tape runners, here are all my gift cards, tape runners, so you know, my, my um, Ranger blending tools right in here. It's a mess though, but I know what everything is. <laughs> my mixed media drawer, craft mat, all of my gel medium, modeling paste, gloss gel, matte medium, and then these are all of my stencils. So. Yes, I probably need a better system than what I have here, <laughs> but all of my stencils get just kind of shoved right there. My handy dandy infamous and expensive watercolor set, and then the pearlescent one sits under there too. This is all of my stamp pads um, and embossing folders, and some of the thinner little Maggie Holmes, not Maggie Holmes, Heidi Swap color shines. So I have a lot of those in there. My beautiful array of acrylic paints. Um, two palettes sit on top. I have put little stickers on top of them and did like a little paint swatch that I know which are them once I put them in the drawer. So all of my warmer colors, pinks, yellows, orange, this side, greens, blues, purples on this side. And they're just like the dollar ones you get at Michael's and such. I got a big collection. <laughs> And then the last drawer is a catch-all. I have more ribbon, extra blending tools, puzzle pieces, and then all of my dilution paints sit there as well. Okay, my doggy bed. <laughs> they usually join me here. My little shelf to my desk holds my Silhouette Cameo. This is a fruit basket that holds my washi tape collection. The shelves hold just other journals, my cuddle bug, my little bead that I melt to make enamel dots. There is my Carpe DM planner. I haven't been using it lately. This is my wire. I have studio lights, so that's what's dangling there. And then we'll get to the top of the desk. So here, also let me see, is my tripod. My camera will usually sit here, and I have the direct view for over my craft area. This little unit I got it for $3 at Goodwill. It has openings on the top, so I have pet, uh, brushes, my tiny attacher, my little scrapers for my silhouette, just some paint chips, pens, tweezers. The top drawer has all of my 
Neocolor crayons, my Inktense pencils, my Kevin Oliver color bursts, some glitter. In this one, it's all of my gelatos. These are mixed media rings. So all of my gelatos and some Heidi Swap metallic pastes. I did my first purchase at Shimmers, so I have Shimmer products to play with. I have not yet. Some punches. I haven't played with my Prima Flowers, my designated cup for mixed media, some palette knives. And inside, I have like backup Sharpie pens and push pins and things in that. On my desk, I usually keep all of my mixed media supplies. So I have glossy accents, I have my liquid acrylic paints, um, texture paste, this is glitter paste, embossing paste, collage medium, gel medium, this holds my gesso, Tombow clear liquid glue, tacky glue, my fine liners, scotch quick dry, clear gesso. There's more of my shimmer products to try. I got some of the Dazzlers. This little compartment holds my little enamel dots that I've made. Paper cutter. Tray to hold your last bits of ephemera. More paint brushes and, a, and an owl mug. These two mugs are from Target. They hold all of my um, watercolor markers. And then this is like my everyday grab stuff. Fussy cutting, T-square, um, vellum writer my large collection of glitter. Now that I have my favorite technique about <laughs> gloss gel and glitter with my stencils, I've pretty much went out and bought like 13 colors of glitter. I know. <laughs> I have a washi tape tree. I got that also at Goodwill. This is a washi tape board that I made. It's actually a thread holder. So I got that at Goodwill and I just decoupaged it with scrap of paper. So it holds a lot of them at hand. Hot glue, heat embossing tool, um, watercolor ATG gun and then my fun best part <laughs> all of my mists now this collection has been acquired over the course of this year when I've gotten heavily into mixed media so do not think I purchased all of this at one time um, I got my India ink for my splatters um, in case you wanted this is Zoe when I first got her she was like eight weeks old there it's my favorite picture of her <laughs> I mean I have tons of favorite pictures but I just framed that one more liquid inks. This is fountain pen ink. It's a beautiful emerald color with like gold shimmer. I just love the jar, so I keep it on display. Distress stains in the dauber. Lindy stamping mist all like, you know, filed this way. Next row is all of my Tim Holtz distress spray stains all that way. Both um, rows are all of my dilution ink sprays, which are my favorite. I have my Heidi Swap color shot. Ooh. Heidi Swap Color Shine ones, all behind that. My, I did, like I said, purchase Shimmers Project, so I have about four new mists to try from them. And then the ones in the back are all like Tattered Angel ones that I've gotten at Tuesday morning. A few Kaiser Craft mists, and then some of my favorite little wood blocked stamps, my little Dachshund one. This one um, a subscriber sent to me because of my two Dachshunds. And then some just like fake flowers whenever I used to do like planner pictures or journal pictures. I have those to photography, do some photography with. And that is it, I think, right? Did I go over everything? <laughs> I probably did. But um, if you have any questions, everyone, please feel free to give me a call. A call. Leave a comment. <laughs> Um, I really enjoyed doing this Spotlight Sunday for the Crafty Maven. I hope you got to know me a little bit better. I hope you've enjoyed my little craft room tour. And until next time. Um, also, if you do like my video and my um, want to see more of my channel, hop over to lifewithevie.com. Lifewithevie.com? No. Life with Evie on <laughs> YouTube. I am so tongue-tied. I'm. I gotta go. <laughs> I need more coffee. It's morning. All right, everyone. Bye.